I've been making a quarterly zine with my photography for two years now. I am about to make the eighth issue and I'm going to show you how I go about choosing a cover for the zine. So that's what I do first is I start with the cover. So I have a folder here. Uh, I'm on zine number eight. So two years of making zines and uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a really rewarding process. And um, so I start with a folder where I throw some images that I like into um, that I might want to use for the cover. I actually have a few more uh, that I'm going to look through and see what I think I might, if I want to test them out, because I test things out and see, um, you know, what I think could work well for that. Um, I know there's at least one in here. Yeah, something like that. And uh, so I don't worry about resolution at first. I just try a bunch of different options and see what I like uh, in the layout before I actually go through and worry about whether it um, is the right, you know, resolution or size or anything like that. So I just kind of go through, you know, there might be something in here that I'd want to consider for a cover. You know, it's got to be like weighted towards one side. That's not a bad option. Uh, and I make a copy and move the copy over because I don't want to get, I don't want to move the original image out of those folders so you know it's got to be weighted towards the right side and be a strong image overall i i take into account the front and the back but um you know obviously i want everything weighted towards the right because that's where this might be too abstract but i want to see what it looks like whoops yeah i forgot to make a copy so make a copy of that put that over there I might choose a vertical. I've done verticals and had the back be blank before. I put a second vertical on the back. That doesn't feel strong enough to be a cover, but yeah, I don't know. If anything's like a strong, maybe, because uh, most things like right away are like, no, that's not going to cut it. Let's see where did I leave off somewhere around here. And... I have that in black and white also. Uh, I don't know. It's worth looking at. So I'll duplicate those and then move them over. Mm, probably not. No. Mm, no. No. Nah. Okay. So there's a few options. And then I publish my zines through Blurb. And they have their own program and so I'll create it's a photo book I do a zine but then I go to um, magazines I like the premium quality better and then that's where I'll start uh, mystery zine and this is the eighth one so start a new project now uh, select photos and I'll pull them from that option I just got to highlight all of them and bring them in and what that does is, no, I they uh, will do layouts for you, but I don't like that. I place everything myself. So I will design the whole thing here. But first, I go up here and do the cover, uh, the front cover. So, you know, if you haven't done this very often, you'll have to keep in mind that the this is the front over here. This is the back. It's labeled, you know, if you don't do this regularly, it's easy to forget. So, um I don't know. I did, you know, if I look at a, a vertical image, I can just jag and drop this in here. And then I can um, place the sides here. So that would be the cover. And then when you click on it and say fill to frame, that's what it would look like. And you can adjust within there. That's kind of an interesting photo. I can't say that it really feels like strong enough for the cover. Um. This is a horizontal, but I think it's got kind of an interesting feel to it, like that image. Or you can, um, again, click on it and make it a little bit bigger. Again, I, I don't know. I like this photo, but I don't know that I feel like really strong cover vibes from it. This one I thought... Uh, could be cool this next one so I'll make this window the full size of the front and back 
this could be a really cool front and back. Um, if you look at where the, yeah, that's got a lot of potential here. Um, I'll also, this is great front and back potential. If I want to see what just the front's going to look like. See, this is one where I kind of wish I saw this full like dance club on the cover. But then if I pull this over here, I've got, it's, you know, it doesn't, it, it leaves blank space. On the side, I could fill it in like black or something, but I, when I do a real front and back like this, I like to have the whole thing all the way to the edges or full bleed means it prints past the edge. There's no border. Um, but, you know, I can play around with the size a little bit but I don't think there's enough room for me to get the full where it says dance club. See, it cuts off the D. And then if I go, mm, I just don't think that's gonna work it, to get the whole thing that says dance club. Uh, that's obviously a little too big, but. I don't wanna cut you know, I just, I don't think that size is going to work to get that full thing in there. So, you know, I could go like, just do the front. And bring that over. So I could just do that and not have a back. But it's so, I just, I think I'd embrace where it cuts off. It's really probably what I think I would do. So this would be a strong contender. That's a nice, I think that'd be a nice cover. And that's strong by itself. I like the color and the shadow. Yeah. I could maybe make it just a little bit bigger to, to um, have more of that. See, I don't want to get it too close to the bottom or that could cut off. Show trim area. That's important. That should be on. I don't know why that wasn't on already. So you got to take that into account. This, this dark area could be uh, cut off in the trim process. So, you know, mm, I think I'd rather err on the side of going like this. That everything is safely within. Because I wouldn't want something to get cut right, you know, to the very edge. Like if that cut all the way to where his foot was there, I like having a little bit of the gravel between. So I'd, you know, do something like that. That looks pretty good. That's a good option. I like that. I was thinking about this as the cover until I took this photo the other day. Um, I really like this image. Could this be a good cover? Now, I feel like, well, let's do the same thing. Okay, that's filled in. Is there more visual interest on this side, which is going to be the back? Is there enough on the front to carry it through? So what would it look like if I just go here? Oh, see, I don't know. I don't know that I like that by itself as the cover. I mean, the other thing I can consider is I love this image and I'll probably put it inside because um, it's a really strong image. But I think you really need this because your eyes like the lines are all drawing you to this part. So if I cut it off there it feels like you know if this were the cover your your the lines are drawing your eyes to a spot off the page that's not there so I don't I actually I thought maybe I would going in I thought maybe this might be my favorite for the cover but now that I actually put it in there I don't think that it is I think I like that other one better um this is a cool image but again I think it might be too abstract for a cover 
And out of the two halves, I think this half is more interesting. So that's a no. Um, this happens a lot. It's if the subject goes through the center, the main one of the main parts, it's too um, cut off. So I could either, again, let's see what it would look like. I mean, I could do something where this is definitely a front and back image. So I'd have to do something to move it. You know, I can um, make it bigger and pull the image that way. That's better. That could work. I like the feet up here. And now that's the other thing. I can see people, you know, standing in through here. These ones will probably get cut off. So I have to keep that in mind. There's a good chance most of this will get cut off. So really, you've only got this one and maybe part of this. So or you could go the other way. I could kind of, no. I do like the green down here as an accent color. So if I pull it down too low, that'll get cut off. So, um, I don't know. It's not, I don't think this is going to be the one. I do like the colors in this. It's great color. And I, again, I don't think that's interesting enough by itself. So, so that's a no on that one. Too, there, too much empty space here. Again, I could look at this and, and if I zoomed it in a little bit, that's a little better. It's not, it's not bad. I just, I think this isn't going to cut off in a good spot. I don't like this area up here. Um, so that's going to be a no. No, see all of the, a lot of the interest is right here in these two things. So if I move that to just the front, cause I like having a good wrap, uh, you know, but if the front itself, if the right half of the image isn't strong enough, it just doesn't, just doesn't do anything. Here's, whoops, here's one I hadn't tried yet from the fair. Again, I think this, this is too much shadow for the cover. Because when you look at this side by itself, it has some interest to it. I don't think this, again, this could make a good spread, but it's not, that's, that's a boring cover. So that's not going to work. Any other ones I haven't tried yet? Yeah, this one has too much. It's too center weighted. That by itself, I don't think, is enough to make a good cover. So that's all the options I pulled in. I really think I, this is the one. I really like how this... Because the front, if you think of the front and back as their own uh, cover. Where'd it go? All right, come on. I mean, that's a nice back cover. And this is a nice front cover. So I think I think that's going to be the one. I like this image a lot. You know, you've got some like wind blowing, nice shadow, good patterns, color, um, interesting, you know, subject. I think this is the one. I'm going to take a quick look to see if I have anything that I've shot recently that I'm not remembering that I might want to use. Okay, so I found three more that I'm going to check out. Now I forget which ones they were. Okay. I love this photo. The subject being right in the middle makes me think it's probably not going to work so much for a cover unless I did just like a I'm 
I'm not crazy about this placement. Sometimes I'll, I will do something like this and then take the cover, just wrap it some. Like that would wrap to there. I don't know. I don't, I don't think this works well enough. It, it really needs to be, this photo would need to be more um, like here, but then you lose that. That's a good shadow. I don't want to lose it. So that one's not going to work. This one was kind of funny. I like this image. Uh, this one, I I like him being in the middle and being cut off. I think it's got kind of an interesting look. But that's not... I just thought it might be kind of interesting and clever. But it's not as interesting and clever as I thought. Oh, I hadn't tried the horizontal version of this photo. I like this image, but I think the more interesting part is the back half and the front isn't interesting enough by itself. So it's going to be a no on that. I feel like, was there one other one? I was curious to see what this would look like. I don't think that's, that's not strong enough. No. So I'm back to where I thought I would be, which was this one. So a lot of times I do have a pretty good instinct about which one I'm going to choose. And I'm happy with this choice. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, I think it looks really good. I like it a lot. That's an interesting cover, I think. So I like that. I'm going to go with that. So that's what we're looking at for the cover. And then... Alright, so that's the cover. And then I'll save this. Alright, that's that. Now this goes up in my shop, and then we watch as the orders roll in. All right, if you have any other questions about the process, or if there's anything else you'd like to see or hear about with uh, doing a zine, making your own publications, leave a comment, and I will either answer in the comments or make another video.